Hello, Christian Juris here with Rational Acoustics. This video will be a continuation of the uh, first DI video series, which is uh, just basic configuration with the generic I.O. So picking up from where we left off, I have friendly names for the signals that I'll be using, and I have configured multiple pairs corresponding with the three measurements that I have set up. So what we're going to do is just uh, take a measurement of the speaker that I have here in my system, which is a studio monitor and we'll uh, take two measurements of it, one with the M30 and one with the iSemcon, and then we'll average them together and use the average to create a basic EQ for the system here. So uh, without further ado, I will turn on the noise and, act and take a measurement with the M30. You can see the data bar is hidden right now. I'm gonna sh I'll show that. Uh, I've already done this a few times just to make sure things are good and I already have an EQ in place uh, just to save time so you don't have to watch me twiddle through knobs uh, to place an EQ but I'll describe everything that I've done as uh, as we go so I'll hide the data bar again and we'll turn on the noise and take our first measurement Okay, so here are the two traces that I just created, uh, the M30 and the SMCon. Uh, now what I'd like to do is use an average to, uh, to base our EQ on. Now I see that there's some, some things that are happening in both uh, this, this little rather massive uh, 40 hertz sub peak going on, which um, is no doubt a uh, room mode here uh, where the microphones are placed. And uh, that's something that I would, I would uh, want to attack with. Uh, some sort of Helmholtz resonators tuned to 40 hertz or some other such studio technique as we're in a studio environment. Uh, but for the purpose of our demo here, we'll just use EQ. So, uh, so let's let's uh, let's average these measurements. And the way we do that is we go and select average here in the uh, data register, and select the two traces that we would like to average. And I'll name them um, uh, monitor no EQ av and uh, we'll color this uh, so do this bright green so you can see it over the black here apply okay so here is the average of the two microphone positions uh, so we can see the general trend is uh, is uh, some sort of low mid uh, uh, hump here um, centered around 400 and 400 hertz or so, and then we got another, looks like maybe two high frequency humps here, one uh, at 2.5 and one at 6.2, and then obviously that bass, so if I can smooth this trace down to, uh, even down as low as third octave, and we can see that the trends here, these, this peak, this peak, and then these, these things going on here, so um, let's go back to 24th octave, just to maintain a higher resolution, even, you can go even higher at 148, and really see some of the comb filtering things that are happening, uh, but we'll stay at 24. So now I'll make an EQ uh, based on this filter, so I'll switch over to the EQ uh, transfer function pair, and I'll turn on the noise, and uh, there we go. So there's the flat EQ, and I'll, I'll un-bypass this.
Okay, so what we have here is really a, a complementary EQ uh, for this system. Uh, so just sort of following along. And notice how the EQ is plotted up. Uh, I'm not actually boosting anything. Uh, that'd, be, that'd be silly here. What I've done is uh, inverted the EQ trace uh, so that way it plots, um, it plots inverted. So that way we can sort of line up the EQ with our trace. Um, so I would, at this point I would listen to this and verify that it's okay and sounds good. And I might tweak it from here. Uh, this is just a general starting point. And something that I might want to address is this. Or, you know, maybe move this around a little bit. Take a little less sub depending on uh, what we'd like. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll, we'll redo those, those first two measurements with the EQ on and see uh, what our trace looks like now compared to the, uh, the average with the EQ. So I'll hide these again and we'll redo the measurements uh, starting with the M30. Okay, we'll go ahead and we'll average these two traces again uh, and see what our EQ has done to this signal. And we'll make this, uh, we'll do bright pinkish. Okay, so here's our our average here, and that makes sense to me. It looks like we're in the middle, and uh, let's compare that with our first average uh, with the EQ. So here's the average of the system without EQ, and see we we flattened out this uh, this you know sort of two to three k range. Uh, we've tamed the, the mid-range here, and we've also brought down the sub a considerable amount. So this trace is looking a lot more flat. I might want to go and attack this little bump here, um, but without listening to it, you know, it'd be tough to make a decision. So that's uh, that's averaging uh, stored traces and making a basic complementary EQ.